Today I'm here to tell you to stop comparing your life and the position that you're in with somebody else's. It's too many people and too often that people will try to compare what they have or what they don't have with somebody else's haves and have nots. And I'm going to give you three main examples on how you can start appreciating what you have and enjoying your life instead of comparing it to others. The first one, let's take something random like chicken. Let's take a chicken place. Let's say you like Popeyes over Crown Fried and maybe you like KFC over churches. When you're doing something like that, you're making a comparison of the chicken itself or the chicken from the restaurant it comes from to another place rather than just appreciating the chicken for what it is. Let's take another example. Let's say you go to a restaurant and you're sitting down, you're looking at the menu, you don't really see anything that you like, so you go with the safe item. You go with chicken fingers and fries. When you go with something like chicken fingers and fries, or you make that your go-to item, it doesn't matter where you go. You could be at Red Lobster, you could be at Longhorn, you could be at Outback, you could be at Friday's, you could be at Applebee's, you could be at Friendly's, but what do you order? You order those chicken fingers and fries. Not because you're gonna make a comparison of it with each restaurant, but you're gonna appreciate it for what it is. You're appreciating the chicken fingers and fries. So no matter where you go, you're going to appreciate what you're having being the chicken fingers and fries. Um, last random example I'll give. Let's say a t-shirt. Let's say you have a blue cotton t-shirt that you love wearing. If you really appreciate it and solely love that shirt and treated it the same way as you do in the chicken example from the different places, you will look like a cartoon walking around. You will have a hundred of that one shirt rather than having the the other shirts that you also appreciate. Let's be realistic. You look in your closet. What do you have? You have maybe a black dry fit hoodie. Maybe you have a purple cotton and polyester shirt. Maybe you have a red silk blouse. What happens and why did you buy those other clothes? Because you appreciate it for what it is. You didn't make a comparison of it to that blue cotton shirt. You appreciated the shirt for what it is, and that's why you have multiple items in your closet. So I'm here to tell you today, appreciate what you have for what it is, and stop comparing it to what it is not. I'm going to say that again just to make sure you got that. Appreciate what you have for what it is, instead of comparing it to what it is not. Shelby Paris, follow me on Instagram, OBA.0. Like and share this video on Facebook. Like and subscribe for the YouTube channel. Tag somebody in this video that you feel like it would be helpful to. This is another Monday Mindset.